Microsoft has made it more difficult to reset the password if you've forgotten your password. So let's take a look at how we do that now that they've updated Windows 10. So you can't use just the plain old renaming the utilman.exe. Now this will work whether you're using a virtual machine like you see here or a physical. I'll tell you about the difference between the two. So let's go ahead and start by making sure we can boot from our DVD. So we want to make sure that you've got your ISO file set up or you've inserted a disk and you've got your Windows 10 disk ready to boot off. The other thing you're going to do if you are using a virtual machine, just go ahead and make sure that the DVD is at the top rather than the second, which is the default location. If you're using a physical computer, go into the UEFI or press F12 and make sure that DVD is what you're cho uh, choosing to boot off of. All right, so we're going to boot from our ISO file on our Windows 10. We're going to press a key to boot from it before it times out. And once we get into setup, we'll take a look at what we need to do. We're in the setup. Let's go ahead and click Next and click on Repair Your Computer. And from here, we're going to click on Troubleshoot. And then we're going to go to a command prompt. And what we want to do now is make sure that we're in the drive letter that Windows is running off of. So let's go ahead and click on D colon and hit a DIR command. Do we see Windows directory? No, we don't. So it's probably going to be the C drive. Sometimes it's the C, sometimes it's the D. Those are the typical ones, but you can do a DIR until you find it. And there it is. There's our Windows directory. All right, let's clear the screen. And now what we're going to do is we're going to change directories into our system 32, just like you see here. Windows, then System32, and then we're going to rename the Utilman, which is the ease of access uh, uh, file that makes it uh, easier to have the on-screen keyboard, etc., that, that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and rename it to Utilman.old or whatever it is you want other than uh, .exe. Now we're going to copy, type the word copy, our command prompt to Utilman. Dot exe. All right, so let's just do a quick DIR of our command and let's make sure that it matches our utilman. Otherwise, it didn't copy properly. And they're exactly the same size, so we know that that is good. Okay, let's go ahead and type exit. And we'll go ahead and click continue and boot right into Windows 10. But this time we won't boot into the DVD. This is where things get a little bit different. If you've seen another video already that shows this procedure and then think you can go right into the ease of access button, uh, you can no longer do that with the latest build of Windows 10. And that started somewhere around December of 2018. So if you've patched or installed a recent build, then you're not going to be able to just reset a forgotten password simply by doing the rename. We're going to have to do one additional step. And as soon as it finishes booting up, we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so before we would just be able to go to this ease of access button, click it, and then a command prompt would pop up, but that doesn't work as I mentioned. So what we're going to do now is hold the shift key down. Now you can't see me doing this, but hold the shift key down. Click on the, the uh, power button and then click on the restart button. All right, now we're going to go ahead and make an additional change. We'll go to holding down the shift key again, click on the start button and click restart. And you see it's a little bit different menu looking this time around, but that's fine. Go ahead and click restart. And now it's gonna boot up into the startup repair of the operating system itself. So instead of booting off of the DVD like we did earlier, we're booting into this startup repair uh, and troubleshooting on the operating system. So go ahead and click troubleshoot and we see different options than we saw when we trouble, did the troubleshooting option when we booted off the DVD. And the one we're looking for is the Advanced Options button. Now we're going to go to the Startup Settings button, and we're going to click Restart. And now it's going to boot up in a way that allows us to turn something off, which is exactly what we need to do. There we are. All right, so what we want to do is look for the Disable Early Launch Anti-Malware Protection, which is number eight. So all you have to do is press the number eight on your keyboard. And this will disable 
the anti-malware or Windows Defender, which will allow us to once again click on the util man or the ease of access button and it will give us our command prompt back. And that's the change that happened here. The anti-malware uh, was making it impossible to click on the ease of access button to get our command prompt like we used to. Now, it doesn't matter if you're using a virtual machine or a physical machine, it's going to respond the same way. We're booted back up. Let's go ahead and click on our ease of access button once again. And look at that, there is our command prompt. Now we couldn't get that to work earlier. So let's go ahead and type net user. And now you have to know the name of the user. So let's go ahead, I know the name of my user is just the letter X, I tried to keep it simple. And then you put in what password you want to use. And there you go. Now if you don't know the name of the users on the computer, then just go ahead and type in net user once again and hit enter and you can see the names of all the users. So we can see here we've got administrator and guest, and by default those accounts are disabled on Windows 10. And then we have the letter X is the one that I'm using. So that's uh, why I went ahead and, and typed the letter X when I did the net user command, because that is the name of my user. All right, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and type exit, and we can go ahead and type the password that we just reset and hit enter. And now we are logging into Windows. So if you're trying to do this on Windows Server 2016 or 2019, the procedure is different. So you'll need to check out my 2016 or 2019 videos that are made around the same time as this one on the same day, or just click on the playlist for 2019 or 2016 in my channel. So if you have any additional questions, feel free to leave a comment or send an email. And if this helped you, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.